Hello everyone! I did not make an intro to this video because that's how awesome I am, but I threw together, I think there's four or five, I should have counted, meals for you. Um, they're pretty much plant-based, but I hope you enjoy them. Here they are. Okay, so I have a little dinner inspiration from the Pioneer Woman. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got this recipe book! I have looked at every page, I have touched every single page going through all of this. This was from Sada, a subscriber. Oh my gosh, thank you so much. I literally got it in my post office and uh, I just, oh my gosh, my heart is so full of joy right now. Unbelievable, Merry Christmas to me. Um, but I looked through and I was like, oh, meat pies, that looks good. I think I have everything to make it. I kind of made my own version of it so I don't have the rolls and I don't have, I didn't use all the seasonings that she did. Just look at this book. Oh my gosh, I'm dying, it's awesome. Um, however, I do, do have these rolls. They are left over from Thanksgiving. <laughs> are they still good? I don't know, I hope so. I'm gonna use them up. And then instead of like meat pie, I did a bunch of mushrooms in there and then whatever veggies I had. So I had like a bell pepper, I had some Brussels sprouts, an onion, what else do I have in there? I know I have so oh, corn. I don't know, so it's basically a meat list pie, but it's still going to be delicious because instead of the meat, the mushrooms kind of have that um, meaty flavor and I'm just gonna stuff these guys with them and throw them in the oven oh and the seasoning it says like cumin and stuff in the um, recipe book but I just had some fajita seasoning that I didn't use up last time and I still didn't use it all there's still some in there but I just sprinkled that on top with a little bit of pepper I haven't put the salt in yet because that's gonna make it really watery um, and you know I don't think I really need salt I don't know Alex you, I used to, we used to have a salt shaker that said, is it worth it? <laughs> With the salt on it. Anyway, so that's what I'm making. Right, here they are before they go in the oven. They look just like in the recipe book, don't you think? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna throw these in and hopefully they are delish. Yes, this is how much is left. I didn't measure um, all the veggies that I cooked, but it was a lot. So um, we will definitely eat that just like with a spoon or a fork. That's pretty much magazine worthy, don't you think? Somebody call the Food Network. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm prepping tonight's dinner, which is stuffed peppers. So I'm boiling the peppers in some, well, water, obviously boiling. Um, and then I'm gonna cook all these veggies, another meatless meal. Well, I took out the meat, we were gonna use the meat, and then I figured, nah, let's not. So I have a bunch of mushrooms, onions, some jalapenos right there, a can of diced tomatoes, and then some corn, and some rice that's left over from another night. We're gonna just cook it all together and hopefully it'll be great. We're gonna find out. I forgot I drained some beans as well, so we're just gonna dump all of this in. Okay, it's coming along. This could be stir fry and I've actually made like unstuffed peppers before where I just dice up the peppers and throw it in there and then dinner's ready. But I also threw in some tomato sauce, not this whole thing, I had some leftover. Um, and I think that's all, oh, and some spices, like Italian seasoning and salt and pepper, and that's it. So I'm just going to take this and stuff the peppers with it. people I thought I would add a salad in here doesn't that just look delicious should I add okay I'm going for a great salad type of feel and I'm gonna throw some feta cheese on there but like a Waldorf salad I know I don't think has onions has strawberries I thought about putting those on maybe I'll just put strawberries and feta cheese on let's see let's see okay all right doesn't this look way more I don't know appetizing appealing look at all those colors 
Mmm, I can't wait to dive in. I'm gonna make a dressing, but I'm just gonna throw some red wine vinegar on there, salt and pepper, and then a little bit of oil, and call it a day. I don't know what kind of vinaigrette you're supposed to throw on a Waldorf, but I'm doing like a Greek Waldorf. Yeah, I don't follow rules in my kitchen. I don't, you can follow rules in yours. I don't, it's just food. I'm hungry. You eat what you want, right? Okay, so just to let you guys know, that was probably the best salad I've ever had in my entire life. Now for dinner. All right, another night, and the kids are hungry. What goes on? Um, all right, so tonight I'm making gnocchis. Can you guys see that? Oh my word. All right, let's try again. There it is. All right, so if you want that recipe, screenshot it. Tonight we're making sweet potato gnocchis. So I used three cups of sweet potato, and I did it the lazy way. I used a canned sweet potatoes, and that was basically three cups, hallelujah. Uh, so yeah, that's definitely the lazy way to do it. I just added some flour, and I'm out of eggs, so I'm using flax eggs. Hey, people, you work with what you got. That's all you can do, right? So I put in two tablespoons of flax seed, uh, of ground flax seed meal, and then um, six tablespoons of water, and I'm just letting that sit for a little bit, and then I'm gonna dump it in there and mix all of that together. And I added some salt. I'm not gonna do pepper, and then I'm going to show you how I create my simple, easy peasy gnocchis. All right, this is my fourth cup of flour. I just added, I added three before, and that makes four. We'll see how it comes together. Okay, so that looks about good to me. You don't want to over mix it. And I added another half cup. So all together here, I have four and a half cups of flour and then three, well, that whole can was like three honking cups of sweet potato. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hey guys, I just wanted to pop in and kind of explain myself here. Okay, so this gnocchi dough, my dad is probably cringing like, oh my gosh, sweet potatoes from a can, are you kidding me? But uh, it worked, so whatever. I, I might not do it again, but it is what it is. Um, I've also used tofu in this recipe, and what else have I used? Mm, oh, you can do uh, ricotta cheese or like regular mashed potatoes, whatever you want. But uh, yeah, this is how I did it tonight. And what you see me doing is just cutting the dough, rolling it into a log, cutting it into pieces, and then like putting my thumbprint in it to kind of catch the sauce, and then throwing it into a pot of boiling water just until the pasta starts to float to the top. And then just take it out and either put it in the pasta sauce that you want, or I did a butter and uh, sage sauce, which was delish. <laughs> Here's the finished product, some sweet potatoes in butter and sage, and then just some sausage. I don't know what to pair it with. And then, um, what is that? Uh, broccoli, delicious. 
Okay, on to the next night of meals. This night was New Year's, and um, Alex's family introduced me to this wonderful New Year's dinner. It's supposed to be super lucky and bring you luck throughout the year. Uh, I don't know if it works, but you might as well try it, right? So I'm just throwing some collard greens with a ham hock into the crock pot and throwing some um, chicken broth right on top of that. goodness guys this is called a good luck dinner it all signifies something again no meat so collard greens in the crock pot some brown rice cornbread and um, black eyed beans black eyed peas so this is supposed to signify like coins and money and I don't know what else you can google it but it's supposed to bring you good luck throughout your year so we eat it every year on new year's day and it's supposed to like you know bring you luck for your finances and stuff like that so uh so far it's been working for us and we eat it all throughout the year too because who doesn't need good luck with their finances all year long <laughs> so anyway all right this is what we're eating i need to add colors on them 